I would not be sitting with you today and nobody would know who Joe Walsh is uh, if the American people hadn't gotten up off their butts two and a half years ago. Now, the American people wouldn't have gotten up off their butts if Barack Obama hadn't been elected. He energized us because, look, elections matter. He has a mindset. He believes in big government and he wants us all dependent upon big government. Uh, most Americans recoiled against that. I, I say often that I'm a Tea Party conservative first and a Republican second. I believe this Tea Party movement uh, is bigger than either party. The media doesn't understand it. Neither party understands it. Uh, it basically consists of every American who is either concerned, scared, frustrated, or angry about how big government's getting and about all the debt we're placed on the backs of our kids and our grandkids. That's the Tea Party movement. Now, a lot of people in the movement go to meetings, they organize, they yell, they scream, but most are quiet and they agree with all the people that go to the meetings and yell and scream. This movement has put their faith in the Republican Party one last time to deliver. And as I tell John Boehner and anybody who will listen, if, if the Republican Party blows this chance, if we're not bold enough, um, I don't know what's going to happen in a year and a half. There could be a third party, a fourth party, or a fifth party. I think this, this movement, and again, I take a very broad-based view of the Tea Party movement. Unlike what the media says, it's not some fringe group of the Republican Party. It's bigger than the Republican Party. I think this movement's growing every day. Uh, the Republican Party, again, we, we've talked about how they've put their faith in the Republican Party one last time. When I go home, I was very clear when I ran that we all have different missions. Uh, I felt like when I came here, part of my job was to scream from the mountaintop about what this president's doing to this country, about what both parties have done in bankrupting future generations. Many folks come here and they elbow their way onto good committees and they work, they work their way up the committee structure and they, uh, that's just not me. I came here to be a, I don't want to say a screamer, but to be a real loud advocate. Um, and, and so I think because I've been consistent in then doing that, folks back home have been supportive. Um, I, 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 I've had 40, 50, almost over 50 town halls back home since I've been elected. I still hear from everyone, and we go out of our way to invite everyone. Believe me, people who come to these town halls, they don't all love Joe Walsh, but in general, they all say, stay bold. Uh, do not give in. Um, I wish my leadership understood that more. I wish the media appreciated that sentiment more, but it's, it's still what drives me.